Good morning, everybody. Wow, wind blown look. Must have been riding fast today. Anyway, it is Monday morning, April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. Today is the day the Missouri family flies back to Missouri. So, I don't know how much work we're going to get done today, but we are going to go eat lunch with them, then take them to the airport. And then, once we're done with that, it'll be back to work for sure. Because we only have like two weeks, maybe two, two weeks three or four days before we're headed to Arkansas and we'll be in the Arkansas Missouri area for like a month and then we'll be back at the end of May so I got everything wrapped up here to be gone for a month oh what fun lots of stuff going on as you guys saw yesterday number five is alive the black bike started so that's a good thing i can't wait to take it for a run around the block maybe this next weekend and uh oh yeah this next weekend there's another there's another rc race so i didn't think i was going to get to do the rc race in april or in may but they're having it early so i may be able to squeeze in april's before we leave we'll just see how busy we are anywho it's time for coffee then work then airport we'll take you along see you in a bit What's up guys? So today, today was a big fat failure. I failed at everything today. So um, my brother and sister-in-law were going home today. We went to eat at the Celtic Ray and I didn't even take my camera. And then tonight we went with the kids, well, our oldest, to Jeremiah's and I didn't even take the camera. So I failed miserably today. I'll be honest though. Like the whole last week, has been crazy and chaotic and I think it's caught up to me like I was sitting in the chair earlier and just like fell asleep um, so I think <laughs> my old ass can't keep up with these young kids I imagine my sister and brother-in-law are gonna sleep for a week when they get back to Missouri tonight because it has been it has been a, it has been a deal April Fool's Day today so I did put out a post that Indian was the best motorcycle ever made that was an April Fool's joke, because everybody knows that ain't true. <laughs> Anywho, let's get to today's topic. Um, and that is number five. Number five is alive. Those of you that watched yesterday's video know that I got um, the black bike fired up and I gave it a name. Its name is number five because it's the fifth Harley I've owned. And uh, it, is, uh, it is now running. Now that it's running, what next? So I've got tires, brakes. I want to do all of the, all of the basics to it. And then I had talked about taking it cross country this summer. I just don't think I'm I'm up for it. I am just too lazy. I think that's the key. I'm just too lazy. Um, Silver's ready to go. Mama Badger's bike is ready to go. I just don't know that I feel up to the challenge of figuring out a new bike and uh, all its quirks and uh, whatever issues it may have. And I haven't had any real time on it. So I would literally just be putting it together and then taking off across country with like no, like, like I said, no reference point, no miles put on it, nothing. So I just don't think, I don't see how that works out for me. Maybe when we get back in June, I can ride it a little a little bit and uh, have a better idea. Maybe I could take it in July. I wouldn't count on that. I just kind of silver like I know silver like the back of my hand. I've had the motor apart. I've there's not much on that bike I haven't worked on, I haven't touched, and I don't know about. Um, same way with Mama Badger's bike versus this bike. I know nothing about it, and that. That worries me a little bit. The last thing I want to do is spend a bunch of time on the side of the road or in a parking lot or in any other state trying to fix a bike that is new to me and I didn't know it had this issue or that issue or whatever. So I think I've decided just to stick with uh, my old faithful girl here and take her on my trip this summer. And it's already all set up, right? So I would have to buy bags, seat, windshield, all that stuff for that bike in order to make it road worthy like this bike. So I don't really feel like that's that makes sense either. Anywho, um, tomorrow we have a meeting with a bunch of our sponsors. Uh, hopefully in the next, I'm going to say next two to three days, we're going to have a 
big announcements um, circled around our wrecked rider fund and uh, hopefully uh, I think we're I think we're almost there guys and uh, we can't wait to roll it out um, there's multiple aspects of it multiple facets and uh, we're pretty excited we think it's gonna be a huge hit um, and we hope that we'll be able to help a lot of wrecked riders out because unfortunately, like this week's been really bad in this area. We had a gentleman on an Indian died right at the end of my street. Um, you probably saw it in my video last week. And then uh, we had a guy die last night um, on another road here in town. I think it was a single vehicle accident. There was an accident in front of the Harley Davidson dealership today. And then on the way to get ice cream tonight, um, there was a crotch rocket. Looked like a green Kawasaki laying in the road and the cops had the road all blocked off and were sending people through a parking lot and out around it. So, I mean, that's four motorcycle accidents within five miles of my house in the past couple of days. Um, so, I mean, it's it's bad. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to help some of those people out. Uh, just be, be vigilant guys, be careful. And unfortunately, a lot of these accidents are self-inflicted. And I don't know if that's, you know, riding above their skill level. I don't know if that's not paying attention. I'm not sure what's the issue here, but it does seem like, um, there are some self-inflicted ones. Now, the one that happened at the end of my street, from what I understand, uh, basically the guy ran a stop sign and hit this guy. Uh, and uh, it's a busy road that the guy was on for this guy to run that stop sign. Um, if he didn't get hit the motorcycle, he'd probably got plowed over by a car. Like I said, it's a busy intersection. So um, yeah. A lot of people out there on their phones not paying attention to what's going on. They're playing video games or they're watching Facebook or TikTok or, or YouTube, whatever. And they're not paying attention to what they're doing or they're texting someone else. There's something. Something's going on and they're not paying attention. And that's super dangerous for us. So guys, be vigilant out there. Watch your backs. Um, you know, be alert. And you've got to be paying attention uh, because they aren't. And uh, that's it, guys. That is the end for today. We will see you all tomorrow. I'm going to go to bed. See ya.